Hey there everyone, this is Charlie Go. welcome back to more Knife Dimension Neptunia V2. Um, if everything looks different to you, like quality wise, it's because I've had to adjust the uh, quality of the game. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't really like me recording and uh, playing the game at the same time. Fancy that. So, um, yeah, the, the quotes a little bit off, but that's why. So the last time we left off uh, Neptune and Netgear, I ended up in this uh, crazy place. That looks like it's uh, some kind of apocalyptic world of uh, doom and destruction. And they found like a, a giant bug that they crushed in the foot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we did. It was like mostly 13 and me jabbering on about DLC that I thought I didn't have, but Turns out I didn't, so uh, yeah, let's go explore this place and uh, meet new friends. So, uh, I'm fairly certain I've uh, explained most of the uh, battle mechanics. But, one of the things you'll notice is that sometimes certain attacks will have the, will have the button glowing. And if you use that attack, it's usually because a certain condition has been met with the previous attack or previous set of attacks. And uh, you gain an efficiency bonus, which is which is a pirate, I believe, higher attack you've seen, higher attack, and an extra attack boost. Okay? So you'll see with Umio here, any of his buttons are like glowing, so if I use any of them, they get like an efficiency bonus, which I believe is more increased power. And it's generally due to like certain conditions being met with his with uh, his moves. I really need to adjust this formation. Uh, I'll do it when I get to the save point. So this guy is actually going to get a ch chance to attack the attack to me, so. Uh, there's that. I'm really good with places where I can't really get at him. Now, a lot of the. Oh, just like any of the other aspects I've done, uh, is that unless I'm like, trying to explain something, I'm not actually going to be um, showing all the battles, I'll just be cutting them out. But yeah, I'll, I'll explain the combo system. Uh, basically. seems to be a little torn. You can have up to five com you can have up to five attacks per combination. Um, the amount of attack you can do depends on the uh, on the weapon you currently have equipped. Uh, in this case for net two and I can only have like one base basic uh, standard attack, one basic rush attack and two uh, power attacks which I do have. Now you can see that the combo trick with uh, each attack. Like the Zambra attack here, all previous attacks were standard. Uh, basically, if that condition is met, that's when the glowing button happens and you get the efficiency boost. Uh, there's challenges for those. There's actually challenges for a lot of things. And uh, basically, you've, got, you've seen them in like Fairy Fence, you've seen them in the Fairy Fence playthrough. Well, uh, things like jumping like a bunch of times, running around with a leader, uh, etc., etc. Uh, basically, gives you like milestones for that character and uh, give you both give you um, stat bonuses. Ooh, check this out. I wonder what happened here. Hey, Neptunia, let's try climbing to the top. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Okay. Wait for me, Neptune. This can't be what, what 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 is this no way just where is this hmm aha uh -huh. look over there i see somebody hmm? oh wow you're right I think it's a girl. Oh no! She's surrounded by a bunch of scary monsters! There's 
No way a local could fight against that many. Let's go, Nepgear. Yeah, let's go help her. They're not really that big and nasty, just the, the ones that you fought before. That being said, I'm gonna jump down here. Apparently there's no way to return, but this there's a teleporter right here that you can choose to go back if you so want to. You don't actually need to, the only thing you need this far is to just grab that item there, which is not really that great. You can see we're already back over here where the uh, ramp was, where the uh, that seems to twice, so you can just jump up there yourself. Now there are uh, boxes here, I think we actually passed uh, some boxes before. But yeah, there's some like over here. So here. Uh, somewhere here you might think, oh, we'll be able to break boxes, but you can't. Uh, we need something to do that, so we can actually get all the items here, yeah. There's actually the one that I uh, walked past a bit earlier, and I've just remembered that now. Oh yeah, we need an item that will break the lock plate. Break boxes, we don't have it now, but we will get it soon enough. So, um, yeah, there is that. Let's not get ambushed in this chicken twice. Right, when I'm fighting around pressing the wrong buttons. Oh yeah, this, like I said, this play is generally like any other event in the One thing that, uh, I like for V2, V2R, the, uh, like the semi remake of this game, is that it had like a dash function where you had, where you, uh, I think you had a little turn and it gave you like a burst of speed for a while. And it's really great, it's kind of like an improvement to the dash we kind of had in Fairy Panther F. But it's not in this game. And funnily enough, one of the, uh, Neptunia spin ups actually makes the uh, death mechanic a lot better. Where it's actually like a permanent thing and you don't have like a stamina peak, stamina bar. But anyway, there's new enemies around here, let's go well, let's go double down, let's deal with the, this guy first. Don't think I'm a run of the mill now, I know one of the things that I do like about uh, V2 is that uh, V2 actually took out the, all the, um... You won't My turn. V2 took out the... Uh, escape me. Um, it took out the viral enemies mechanic, that's the one. Uh, which was a mechanic where sometimes... Uh, followers would go rogue, to, uh, get different colour, get colour healed, and... With the best stat and just end up ruining your party inexplicably. There's actually none of that that I've seen around here at all in this game. And this is a game I've pretty much nearly platinumed. The only reason I haven't actually platinumed it is uh, I'll do something, I'm doing a specific thing that needs kind of to do later. I'm oh, not really do it, but so. Uh, I'll be serious. Like I said, it's, it's something that doesn't actually come to play too much later on. I'm probably better off explaining it back to that. Looks like we won. Oh yeah, there are total enemies there. They like to blow bubbles and stuff. I don't actually know what these guys do, I think they're firebase, um, when I think about it, but, uh, they're pretty weak. What they don't see are pretty weak, it kind of helps that we had, uh, two characters, two characters starting at level 7. I believe we have started. And so we are getting, like, enemies that are way more, well, like, a massive, like, massive style of enemies. It is my turn. And usually these guys are probably something, like, in the previous games considered like the dangerous enemy and they wouldn't actually uh they're the ones that you wouldn't pay any mind to until you uh actually went and attack them yourself. 
So it's uh, basically that's like how you do this. All enemies will actually go after you, regardless of whether you're um, Level up. whether there's a dangerous enemy or not. So if you're running around and not paying attention, you will run in a, in a dangerous enemy notices you. It will come after you, it will attack you, and it will kill you. Um, I've just made an experience with this. Um, that's happened to me. So uh, I want, kind of want everybody to be a run level eight. So I kind of want like another level. So, so um, the save point's here. I'm going to save. That failed save. A uh, technical difficulty kind of killed that one. Uh, I'm gonna go clear up some more enemies, and once I've gained a couple more levels, I'll be I'll be right back here at the same point because there's the event of the uh, next part of the game. So I will be right back, and uh, yeah, hopefully more levels. And I'm back. Um, one thing I want to do is I've but I've actually noticed the site I'm here. I've, I kind of walked past it, but there's actually an item near the, uh, the first giant mech enemy that we fought is right here. Jump over the light thing to get it, it's a light fragment, which is nice, it's a free revive. But yeah, other than that, um, I did get up to a with everybody. I've taken Umeo out of the Tai, uh, simply because I'm probably not really going to be using him quite Offensively, is that I'd rather use him for a heal, and he already has a, has a decent heal as it, as it is. Because if he's, been, if he's being used outside of the party, which is one, one of the nice things you can do in this game, is like in the previous game, you couldn't actually use skills outside of battle that could like heal and such. But in this game, you can. Because this one heals 50%, it'll heal everybody, whether they're in the team or not. And for 60 SP, it's actually better to actually be doing that outside of battle rather than in battle. It's uh, it's only it's an AOE, it's an AOE anyway, but it's uh, a very small AOE. It also has a, the other attack, which is freezing beam, which is ice elemental, and it's like a long trip line thing. Which if you're having trouble with the enemies, a lot of the enemies in, around here just have a formation, but they're just in a straight line. So if you aim correctly, you can get them with that. Uh, both the net gear variants also have access to slash wave, which do the exact same thing uh, at like ridiculously high cost of SP. So uh, pretty easy to grind up a few levels here if you really want to, but then like it's fine for what we are at the moment. Anyway, let's go up to the fence and find out who this girl is who's uh, in trouble. Yeah. Uh. Ugh, these pricks are still crawling out of the woodwork. We're about halfway through evacuation. I'd advise you start heading back now. What the hell? Are you freaking kidding me? Half? We need to get them all out of here. Besides, if I leave these bastards alone, they're just gonna be on our tails all night. This is gonna end, right? Here! Uh. Hear me. Just don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm the only one who can fight anyway. Hey! Uh. Hmm? We found our first citizen! Hey there! People? I could have sworn there were a lot more monsters before we got here. D did she defeat them all by herself? Man, I'm just glad we finally ran into someone. Hey, lady, could you tell us where we... Oh, reinforcements now of all times? Come again? <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill out, lady, I'm just trying to... You're not half bad. The name's Uzume Tenoboshi. What's yours? N Neptune. It's Neptune. Nep. Your name's freaking hard to pronounce. I get that a lot. 
Hmm, you're a lot stronger than you look. You're like the perfect prelude to it. Dang it, just listen to me. We're already super tired from getting sucked into that crazy vortex and I'm just trying to get back. Sorry, but I'm not the type to get all cozy with the enemy. If you think you can fool me by pretending to be human, you've got another thing coming. We're not enemies. Just listen to me. Seriously, like, I know I'm number one on Game Industries Hot 100 chart for nicest people ever, but I'm about to get super pissed off. Game it? Ugh, what the hell are you even talking about? Beat this! Just Buster! Stop! Huh? Please stop, you two! Um... Your name was Uzume, yes? Like my sister said, we have no intentions of fighting with you. In fact, I'd be really happy if you could help us. So, um, can you just listen to us for a minute? We aren't going to attack you, I promise. Yeah, what's your problem? Just help us, jeez. Neptune, this is your fault too. Why are you picking fights with strangers? <laughs> My bad. I was getting a little too hyped. Ugh, there are still a few stragglers. All right, whoever you girls are, this is gonna have to wait until I clean this up. Yeah, let's mop this spit up. I wanted us to stop fighting. It's too late for that. Here we go. And so with that kerfuffle out of the way, we get access, we get ourselves access to Uzume Tanabushi, who is uh, best girl, don't at me. And she's, she's relatively balanced. Um, it's also going to show off that uh, the game likes to just optimise equipment straight away for people to join, because she's going to have her swimsuit on, rather than her normal clothes, because... Better agility and some nice resistance, I guess. I mean, it's fine. She starts at level 7, which is also fine. I don't know why she's got not that much, uh, why she's lost so much pay, probably because the um, optimized equipment thing. I know if you have like the ultimate armor DLC and the ultimate weapon DLC, it's kind of hilarious what happens with those because you equip them and then suddenly everybody's like almost dead. Because it increases HP, because it increases HP, which is incredibly stupid. For I don't know, I just feel it's incredibly stupid. No, anyway, we don't need to change it. We just need to make Kabu's amazing. Um, that two and that here in this pod. Right up, you ugly sacks of flesh. My name is Uzume Tanoboshi, and you're all already dead. Now the thing you here is, I know Uzume called ugly sacks of flesh, but these are obviously robots. Um, they're not very difficult robots to get rid of, they're basically the same robots that we've just been fighting. I had to do some, uh... Other grinding. Now, I've just done... Uh, do your bass, which got ch which has been changed from single target to an AOA. Uh, around Neptune. But you can see where the uh, you start to side, you end up getting one. I believe a lot of the things that were the initially single target have oh, actually been changed into AOEs for the, for the, uh, this game. So there's that. Also, a lot of Uzume's weapons, since she, she primarily uses megaphones. And she kind of like shouts into that megaphone to do damage. Um, her her, her uh, things are basically uh, like cone shape, which is kind of sort of obvious. So it brings us off of the Gaz Mirage dance. So not the amount that they put the slice. make it slow up from this anyway regardless. Yeah. 
dungeon cleared or whatever. I'm finished over here too. Is it really over? I guess I'll thank you two for now, but just be honest with me. You're not its underlings, are you? Mm. Uzume, I'm not sure what it is, but like I said before, we aren't here to fight. We're just looking for help. There are really humans that survived? I can't believe it! How many times do I have to nepping tell you we aren't the bad guys? No, I know. I didn't mean it like that. It's just, I can't remember the last time I've seen people, let alone fight alongside them. It was wrong of me to attack you the way I did. Please, forgive me. It's okay. I'm just so glad you believe us. Oh, it's all good, Uzume. I know how it goes. I'm just relieved to know there are other people roaming around these parts. Well, I'm actually the only other person here. That aside, if you're not its underlings, who the hell are you girls? You seem pretty strong, but... Hmm... We're... How do you say... Lost. We suddenly found ourselves in this city. We were looking around to see if there was anyone else. And we finally found you. Lost? You mean there are others who failed to escape and are surviving in other cities? Failed to escape? From what? Surviving? <laughs> hey! I thought we cleared the dungeon. What the heck is it now? Finally, it's arrived. already appearing? We didn't get blown to the end of the game or something, did we? I don't know who or what that thing is either, but it's the one responsible for turning this city and the entire world into a wasteland. Is this the one behind all these weird cracks and rifts we've been seeing everywhere? Right, and it doesn't just destroy cities. It destroys the earth and sky as well. You're going to try and fight that? That's exactly right. I've been fighting with it for a long time. Something that giant is just too much. Please, Neptune, tell her to back down. All righty. Now I'm getting all fired up, too. Huh? Our opponent's bigger than a skyscraper? That's perfect. In fact, bring it on. Neptune! Neptune, you're I'm the protag. There's no way I'll lose. I appreciate the gesture, Neptune, but this fight is mine, and mine alone. It's useless to try and stop me. I staunchly refuse to listen to people all the time. I do what I want, and I want to help. Please be reasonable, you two! If you think about it sensibly, there's no way you could win against something that gigantic! Sorry to interject, but as a CPU, it's my sworn duty to deliver justice upon the one responsible for ruining this city. Huh? Hang on a sec. Did you just say you're a CPU? Oh yeah, I guess I hadn't mentioned that yet. Well, that doesn't really matter right now. This place is about to become a battlefield. If you're not prepared to get your hands dirty, then run. Far away. Uzume, let's get out of here together. I'm sure we can devise a strategy to defeat it that doesn't involve battling it head on, so... No can do. A pack of monsters like the ones we just fought are advancing along with that giant. I gotta stop him here, no matter what. I need to create a window for the others to escape. That giant thing looks terrible enough, but a pack of monsters too? Also, what others? Well then, with courage like that, I'm even more pumped to help you out, Uzume. Let's get ready to rumble. You girls aren't ready for a fight like this, and you're just gonna hold me back. Like I said, just hurry up and get out of here already. I don't wanna. Run away. No, no, no. If I ran away now, who's gonna be here to help you? I'm not leaving you here to die. We're doing this together. Hmm? Besides, even if we really can't hold our own, we can at least buy you some more time. Neptune. Uh... Okay. You're right. Neptune, if you're going to fight, then I will too. Ugh! What freaking ever! You two are so dense. Fine then. Listen, if we're gonna be fighting this thing together, then know this. We fight to win. 
Nick, yeah! Then, at the very least, why don't we find a place where we can heal your wounds? From the looks of things, that giant won't head here immediately. We have some time. It's better to challenge it when we're at our best. You're not wrong. My base is close by, so let's head there. So from here we're going to make toll about support requests and the coupling. Uh, support requests you can either switch it between offensive and defensive, and depending on which mode you get, you get, you get better attack stats and better defense stats depending on who the character in the back row is. I think it's different. I think it's different depending on which character's in the back row. Also, going to get to see the world map for the first time, where uh, we just choose a point and then we go to that point. You can actually also skip a lot of things by pressing in this game. You can actually, uh, for PC uh, with an Xbox One controller, you just press LT. If you're playing on the PS4, it's LT. You can skip skip tutorials and skip cutscenes. If you're in a fight, you can skip the animations. It makes the fights go by much quicker. So here's our map. I'm making things show uh, quickly. L holding L2 also makes you move around the map a lot quicker. Quicker. So basically, any red exclamation point is our next story-based objective, which is just a maze hideout. Um, any green exclamation marks that you have actually say, uh, I don't know what the game actually tells you this, but they are optional. Uh, you don't actually have to uh, go anywhere near them. But yeah, here is the uh, place that we've wound up in. And we can go to Uzumain Hideout. Uzumain Hideout is actually considered a town. Uh, whenever you go to, whenever you walk into a town, you will also have to get healed. Of both HP, SP, and status conditions, because status con some status conditions do linger when you uh, leave a well, uh, much like they did in Fire Fencer. I know they used to in Neptunia not linger, apart from I think maybe Poison did. I can't remember off the top of my head. I never really got status elements all that much. Oh yeah, let's just go to this mate's hideout and uh, get close to the random bell. Uh, this is the thing that was like, relatively new for this game. Random battles on the board map. We're going to be seeing those frequently because, uh, yeah, you just walk. You can, is that a random chance of it happening? And there's times where you can go from like one side of the map to another. Will it carry an encounter? And then other times, there'll be times where you'll just be like, yeah, you're just gonna be getting encounter after encounter. Like, for every step you go. Uh, this, is, it's, this is one of the, it's one of the things that they uh, changed up in V2R. There's actually no uh, random encounters in the world map in V2R. Probably makes it the a better a better reason to actually play uh, V2R over uh, vanilla, along with uh, like the extra VR base scenes, which you don't actually need VR for. And well, the only real thing that actually does put me off is games a lot harder due to its battle system. Due to its new battle system, uh, for me, it's, it was kind of a bit kind of a bit iffy for me to understand. Like, like initially, and I've not actually played V2 in a long time, so uh, that's a thing. Getting L2 makes you run faster on world map. Um, don't worry about um, certain services don't have any voice acting. Uh, it's the same regardless of where I use the English voices or the Japanese voices, so. I'm not really too absolutely, absolutely concerned about uh, certain certain scenes. They're, they're pretty much the same as the as they were doing the guys of the language. But yeah, this is uh, it's based out basically your base operations. Um, as it's a town, it does have other things like the shop. Uh, well, for mainly at the moment, the shop. 
definitely. There's other things that will be added to it as the game progresses as well. But yeah, it's the main base of operations in this new area. But so uh, we basically get a little bit of backstory. Apparently, all the humans aren't here anymore. And still, I think all that's in this dimension aside from Ozone, uh, the great big giant, and all the monsters are monsters, really. There are actually good monsters here, now you um, think about it. And yeah, we did, me did mention that Uzume is a CPU. She actually is a CPU. We're not going to see her transform just yet, because uh, I don't think we're at that part yet. I think we're probably not going to even get to that part until the next episode, because the discussion is taking quite a while. I do want to try and say stuff as I'm going along the wire to cut scenes, but they're not speaking. But, but I've got nothing really to say. I've got nothing really to say. But uh, yeah, we're still here in the most highlight. I just uh, I just killed my uh, controller. So you know what? I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we're going to look into Uzume's hideout and find out what we have to do next. So until then, take care and I will see you later. Ciao.